Rope tension. A tether ball weighing one pound is pulled toward from pulled outward, outward from a pole by a horizontal force, U, until the rope makes a 45 degree angle with the pole. Uh, see the figure. Determine the resulting tensions, because we're looking for a result, like a resultant force or resultant angle, whatever, in the rope and the magnitude of U. All right. Yeah, this problem is really confusing. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to do, because I'm going to try to make this a lot easier. We got, we got three vectors right here. We have vector U. Uh, let's, let's write him down. We got U, the U vector. Uh, and we also have... We'll call this one, this vector right here, W. Okay, we'll call that vector W, or the W vector. And then let's call this one the V vector. Okay, so we have the V vector, uh, the U vector, and the W vector. Now let's talk about what their magnitudes mean. And then we can start trying to figure out how to figure this out. Okay, uh, the magnitude of U would be the force uh, that... that that this is being pulled out. So I think it says, it says the horizontal force. Okay, yeah. So that would be the force that the ball is being pulled outward, okay? Uh, the magnitude of W, that would be the tension, uh, which is also the force. You know, the, the tension, the force being put on the rope would be the tension of the rope, okay? And then finally, the, the V, the uh, magnitude of V, that would be gravity, Okay, and, and so in this case, it's one pound because uh, gravity is uh, putting one pound of force on that ball downwards. So if we have this vector and this vector and we add them together, it should result in this vector, right? Okay, so uh, essentially what we're doing is we're trying to find uh, U plus V uh, to get W. And if we're able to write out what U is and what V is and what W is, we will be able to find the things that this problem is asking us to find. It's telling us to find the resulting tension, so that means the, the magnitude of W uh, of the rope and the magnitude of U, which is the force being pulled outward. So those are the two things that we're looking for. Uh, we already know this guy, this guy is one. Uh, we don't know V, oh, well, we do know the, the, the direction of V. That one is, uh, we'll say, 270 degrees because it's straight down. Like if we would look, put an X and Y axis right here, that would be straight down. So we say 270 degrees. Um, we know that W's uh, directional angle is uh, not 45 degrees. It's actually uh, 315 it's kind of funny though. You could say it's forty-five degrees, but then you know that this would be uh, going downwards, so that you know the you know the y would be negative, and so you end up getting the same answer. But anyways, that that doesn't matter. And we know the directional angle of u is zero degrees. So, because we know all those things, let's write out the vectors uh, that we got that we're going to add together. Okay, so um, let's go the vector u. Okay, u is. Uh, we don't know the magnitude, or, and I'm, I'm going to use a trigonometric form, by the way. We don't know the magnitude yet, so let's see, u. Uh, we're going to say uh, the magnitude of u times, uh, we'll say uh, i uh, cosine 0 degrees plus j sine of 0 degrees. And we're going to add to that. Uh, v, so that's going to be, oh, we know V, V is uh, 1, the magnitude of V, it's 1, and then we're going to say I of cosine of 270 degrees uh, plus J of sine 270 degrees, and the result of that should be, or is, uh, W. Um, now, W, we don't know the tension for that one, or we don't know the force, I guess I should say. Uh, so I'll say magnitude of W, and then we have I of cosine of 315 degrees plus J sine of 315 degrees. All right, so let's um, simplify this. Let's start putting in things that we know, okay? And we're going to simplify really quickly here. Um, that's supposed to be a zero, by the way. Uh, so, cosine of zero degrees is one. 
Uh, sine of zero degrees is zero. So this is just gone right here. We have um, the magnitude of u uh, times i. I'm sorry, not j, i. Plus, now this is just a one, so he's not gonna do anything. We know uh, cosine of 270 degrees is zero. And we know that the sine of 270 degrees is negative one. So this is gonna be a negative one, so we have a negative j. This is supposed to result, look how much that simplified. Dang, all that stuff is gone already. Uh, this is supposed to result in um, uh, magnitude of W times that times this guy. And the cosine of 315 degrees is rad 2 over 2. So let's say uh, rad 2 over 2, and that's times I plus, and let's uh, multiply the magnitude of W times the other dude which is a sign of 315 degrees, that's negative, I'm gonna use parentheses now, negative rad two over two times J. Okay, so uh, now I see this is, this is gonna be our problem here. Uh, we have um, absolute, or I'm sorry, the magnitude of I is supposed to equal this. So let's, let's write that out. The magnitude, I say I, the magnitude of U times I uh, is supposed to equal um, the magnitude of W times, we'll say negative, rad 2 over 2 uh, times I. Oops, sorry, that one's not negative. Okay, and then the other one is a negative 1J is supposed to equal that. So we got negative j is supposed to equal the magnitude of w times negative square root of 2 over 2 times j. All right, so it looks like we have, I mean, the i's we don't have to worry about. So let's just get rid of those i's really quick in our first equation. And the j's we don't have to worry about. And I have to have a placeholder here right here, so I'm going to put a 1 right there. Um, this one has two variables. This one has one variable. So we can solve for one of those variables. Uh, we can solve for this guy right here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative uh, 2 over rad 2. Now that would make this into a 1. So dub, um, the magnitude of W will be alone. Then the other side, I multiply the negative 1 times negative uh, 2 over rad 2. And so that would be just 2 over rad 2. Uh, simplify that because we can't have a, a rad on the bottom, so we go rad 2 over rad 2. So that's going to be 2 rad 2 over 2. These would cancel out. It looks like the magnitude of W is square root of 2. So that is the force or the tension that is on the rope. And now that we have that, we can take that and we can plug it into this other equation. Multiply those together, we get rad 4 over 2, which is 2 over 2, which is 1. That is the force uh, that that W or I'm sorry U has on the ball. That's the magnitude of U. Wow, that was a gnarly, gnarly problem. If you guys got even halfway there.